How much of it, if, I mean, I assume some of it was ad lib or, or was it entirely, they gave you exactly the lines and how exact, how much of that did you bring out? Cause you had that, the scene, you're like, when I'm through man and that cross, I'm going to, did yeah, they yeah. tell you kind of what to bring out or did it, was that something you improv Yeah. Yeah. Actually it was, it was, um, there's a lot of, of things that go into it. Uh, one, uh, the people that you're working with, so the producers and it, you don't really know. I didn't know anyways until I got to set like how they do things. You kind of learn on the fly. Okay. Right. Some people, they want you to stick to the page exactly. And, um, and, uh, when we, when I got to set, I was noticing, okay, they're going through and doing everything in the scene and they're, and they're, you know, hitting their lines they're hitting everything that's on the page because you, you have to, and it, and it, you wouldn't want to mess up with what's on the page. Like they're brilliant writing on the show. But uh, right. at the end of the scene, people would just kind of keep going and keep playing and like stay in the energy of it. And uh, some really cool things would happen. And so there was that. But then there was also like you're in a scene with Adam Devine. And sometimes he's going to take a little curveball and he's going to he's going to lay you up and you you got to be ready. So it was a cool <laughs> feeling because you got to be on your toes. So, I could totally see him doing that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know he's hilarious yeah. and his brain just works like that. And so like you have to, you're like, all right, I got to keep up. If he throws me a zinger, I got to be ready, you know? And, uh, and it's, it's a little bit of a weird spot too. Cause like, you know, they're, they're there every day. You don't want to show up and, and do too much. But yeah, I knew that within that scene, especially the cross bearing scene, yeah. you know, on the page, it's like, you know, he fails on the cross, they pick him up and they throw him in the cage or whatever. Yeah. And you know, there wasn't a, a ton there, but I knew that that's, that's going to be a whole lot. You know, there's going to be a tussle. They're going to be grabbing me. There's going to be dragging me over. Like, there's going to be. You did a flip, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flip. I just did a bunch of, a whole, a whole bunch of extra stuff that was so flip. over the top and extra. And, you know, uh, oh, was... because they totally would as a, the muscle man. And he oh, just yeah. does a flip for no reason to show off. Um, <laughs> Can Jesus bench press yeah. over 455 pounds? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So that, that scene, actually, the setup for that scene, you're bringing back great memories right now. So we were doing the um the blocking of it the the rehearsal mm -hmm. and they're setting up the cameras and which so we just basically the actors run through the scene and and the producers everybody's just kind of watching so they can detail out where they want to put the cameras and what they like and um and so we go through the scene i wasn't supposed to say anything except come on brother kelvin and then he cuts me off and then he's like you go bear the cross in the cut you know yeah uh, but he was, he said something like, uh, Adam Devine was like, what Jesus Christ bared the cross and he carried it 2000 feet. Yeah. He's like, so what say you Titus? Do you have the power? Like it, that wasn't on the page. He just threw it to me. And, then, <laughs> and, then, and, 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 and I was like, Oh, and then everyone's looking at me like, you better say something. You know? <laughs> and the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, I, I bench press 40, 55 pounds. Like, Jesus Christ bench press 40, 55 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and and Danny McBride just keeled over <laughs> and, and was laughing his butt off and, uh, and and I was like okay that's the coolest thing that's ever happened in my acting career <laughs> <laughs> and they you have a whole segue and monologue after they lock you in the cage too oh, yeah. are I you because I figured like they were kind of letting me so on that on that rehearsal I I kind of just. I was just kind of ad-libbing and they're throwing me in. So I'm saying things and then, yes, the, you know, I just, I kind of went with it and, uh, and I was kind of self-conscious on the, on the way driving home. Everyone loved it and they're like, Oh, you killed it and everything. But I remember thinking like, you know, I'm, I'm recurring this season. I come in and out. Like I, I don't want to be that guy on the set that was came in and like was doing too much. And, and then when I watched the final edit, sure. they kept like four of those lines. So I guess like, Oh, I guess they liked it. You know? Yeah. Yeah.